Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kasim, and today we are going to talk about the AirPods Max. You know, I keep wanting to say AirPods Pro Max simply because you had the AirPods, then the AirPods Pro, and then the AirPods Max. So I don't know why they took the Pro out, but you know, whatever. So I had these pre-ordered and I was actually supposed to pick them up on the 15th, but we had a little snowstorm here. So I wasn't able to do that until yesterday. Now, when I went over to the Apple store, I'm literally standing there and just thinking about the fact that I paid $581 for these pair of headphones. That's just absolutely crazy. But, you know, I was like, you know what, let's put this aside. Let me put the price aside for a second and let's see what they're really made of. So I brought them home and this is what I wanted to share with you guys. Just my first impressions and first thoughts of having these headphones and using them a little bit. So when I got home and started unboxing them, right away when I first got them into my hands, I could tell that this is a premium set of headphones. The build quality is absolutely amazing. Everything that you feel on these headphones is quality. From the aluminum headset part to the adjustable metal sides, the silicone and mesh at the top, everything is built with quality. When you hold these in your hands, trust me, these are quality headphones. Now the case I actually set off to the side simply because even looking at it in person, this does not look like a case that belongs to a pair of headphones that would cost you $550. Seriously, I don't know what Apple was thinking here with this case. The cutouts are misaligned. They, this case just does not work for these headphones. And the fact that you actually have to put the headphones in this case for the AirPods Max to go into low power mode, that's just horrible. Like I, I am purposely now putting them into this case because I have no other choice, but I hope somebody makes a case that will work really well and actually protect the whole product. Now moving on to a little bit more about the design, the ear cups are super, super soft. These put a baby soft skin to shame. You don't even have to apply any pressure and they just kind of melt away. I, I generally don't use over the ear headphones and that's because I wear these glasses. And whenever I've had over the ear headphones, after extended periods of use, and they're just sitting on your ears, they're kind of pressing up against the frame. And eventually your ears get tired of the frame hitting your ear. But yesterday I put these on, I kept them on for about three hours and I did not feel a thing. I was totally fine. Even with the fact that these actually weigh a lot since they are metal headphones and they've got the aluminum, they weigh a lot more than your traditional set of headphones. Another thing that's nice about the ear cups is the fact that they're removable. So these aren't waterproof and these aren't sweat resistant. So eventually with time, these are gonna wear out and you're gonna wanna replace these. So it's nice that they designed it to where it just snaps out, snaps back in and you can replace it and you can kind of do color combinations with them too. So if you want a different color here as opposed to the actual headset piece, then you could do that. Another nice touch is that they've got this like little swivel, right? So these, when you put them on your head, they kind of like swivel into the right position. So that is a really cool touch that they added into the design. And I also like the digital crown. You can actually assign whether you want it to go back to front or front to back to change the volume while you're listening to audio. So that's really a nice touch. Now, along with the digital crown, you've also got this button up top that will let you just tap it to change between modes. So when you're going from transparency mode to noise cancellation mode, you can easily do that. And then you can also use it for media controls. So clicking it multiple times will do certain things like forward, back, skipping tracks, all of that. Now, another thing I noticed about the design is that these look like pilots headsets. All you're missing is that microphone right here and these very much so look like pilot headsets. It's not a bad thing by any means, but just something I noticed and I thought I'd share with you. Now I know the main thing that's on your mind is what do I think about the sound quality? Now initially when I put them on, I played music and they literally made me smile. I literally smiled because these sound that amazing. 
I couldn't even get the volume up to 100% because that was just too loud. But the little bit that I spent listening to this, they sound phenomenal. And what's funny is that between the design and the build quality and the sound, they're making me forget about that price tag a little bit. Anytime a product can make you smile, I think it's on the right track. And you know, this is convincing me that this price tag, I should just ignore it and put it aside because they do sound really well and they're built really well. Now, obviously for my full review, I'm gonna be listening to a bunch of content from movies, shows, all different types of music from different genres, but just my initial time with these, they sound really amazing and I was literally blown away. Now, one thing I do wanna mention when it comes to price is that, you know, for me, I, I look at price a little bit different. Something could be $100 and totally useless and I would hate it, but on the flip side, something like this could be $550 and I absolutely love it because of the utility and how well it fits into my life. So I like to think of price as more of a secondary thing. If I'm gonna be getting enjoyment from something for a very long time, then I think I can justify the price. Now let's move on to the noise cancellation and transparency mode. Again, I'll be testing these out a lot more for the full review, but initially I used the noise cancellation and what I really loved is that there's no pressure buildup. So usually when you turn on noise cancellation on, especially over the ear headphones or even in the ear ones, there's always that pressure that builds up and then it slowly kind of goes away. But with these, you just don't notice that. And what's nice about transparency mode, honestly, if it wasn't for the weight of the headphones themselves, then you wouldn't even realize you have headphones on. These have nine microphones built into the sides of the headset piece. So they literally are picking up sound from everywhere around you. So whether something's coming from the back, to the left, right, bottom, wherever, like if you were sitting there and listening to your music with transparency mode on, you'll really know what is going on around you and be able to enjoy your music. Now, one last thing I really loved is that yesterday I had these on and I was editing my video. So if I got a phone call in between, they automatically switch over to the iPhone and then they switch right back to the MacBook. So their integration with all your Apple stuff and switching seamlessly is really awesome. So overall, the day that I've spent with these headphones, it's been really good. I, Other than the case, I really don't have complaints. I just can't see myself using this case. But you know, with that said, like when I was going to the Apple store, I had this mindset as to why the heck am I doing this, right? I've never spent $550 on a pair of headphones and if you factor in the tax then they're 581 so that 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 price tag is just absolutely crazy but from that moment at the store to getting home unboxing them feeling the build quality hearing the sound quality man i've i've got to say that you know i'm beginning to just forget about that price tag and just kind of set it aside and not really think that i spent that much money on these headphones but you know, with that said, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time with these. Like I wanna really dive into them, use them in detail, so that way I can really give you guys a good perspective as to what's good and what's bad and who's it for. When thinking about the price, one last thing to keep in mind is that you're not gonna have to replace these headphones for a long time. They're very well built and they're very solid. You'll replace those ear cups, but you're not gonna have to replace these headphones by any means. So if you take that into consideration and take into the fact that you're gonna enjoy a bunch of songs on here, bunch of movies, bunch of shows, they sound really good, they're built really well, then you know that might be reason for you to buy them. Because honestly, apart from the case, there's nothing I've disliked so far. But like I said, I'll keep checking it out, I'll keep testing these, and hopefully very soon I will have a full detailed review for you all like you guys love them with that said guys that's going to do it for the first impressions of the airpods max i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below as to where you are are you on the fence with these are you buying them have you already bought them let me know i'd love to hear from you 
And if you aren't already, consider subscribing to the channel. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you all in the next video.